Excellencies, Ambassadors, Treasured Affairs, Embassies of ASEAN Member States in Hanoi, Brothers and Sisters, first and foremost, I would like, on behalf of the Government of Vietnam, to congratulate all of you on the 54th and birthday of the Association of Southeast Asian Nations. I would like to express my sincere appreciation for your participation, both physically and virtually, at the ASEAN flag salutation ceremony today. I hope you all are staying safe and healthy. Together, we will overcome these challenging times and will meet face to face in a very near future. I'm very pleased to note that after this flag salutation ceremony, the ASEAN Family Day, under the theme of ASEAN Stands United Against COVID-19, will be organized by the Ministry of Foreign Affairs in collaboration with ASEAN's Women's Circle in Hanoi. The theme has been aptly chosen as our Southeast Asian nation. Prison is being hit hard by the new wave of the COVID-19 surge. In this regard, I thank the ladies from AWCH for their timeless efforts in sustaining the work of AWCH. Excellencies, brothers and sisters, August 8, 1967 is a significant milestone when ASEAN was established. After over five decades of development, ASEAN has grown into a dynamic community a region of peace, stability, and prosperity. Indeed, ASEAN's great achievements are the sweet fruits of relentless efforts of our people in the region working together with common aspiration for an ASEAN community that is politically cohesive, economically integrated, shares social responsibilities. Despite highs and lows and myriad difficulties and challenges, ASEAN remains an invaluable asset and is vital interest, a vital interest for all member states that we are bound constantly cherish and safeguard. Excellencies, brothers and sisters, it has been two years since the outbreak of COVID-19 pandemic. ASEAN has never been through such a pandemic that changed our way of doing businesses or preventing us from face-to-face -face meetings. I believe that ASEAN under Brunei Darussalam's able strong chairmanship with the aspiring team, we, pair, we prepare, we care, we prosper. We emerge from the pandemic stronger and better than before. ASEAN has been more responsive and creative in collectively coping with the COVID-19 and begin the road to recovery from the pandemic. I can take a couple of examples. The COVID-19 Response Fund has secured pledges of more than 20 million US dollars to purchases of vaccines. The ASEAN Regional Reserve of Medical Supplies for Public Health Emergencies will be operative to support member states in needs. The ASEAN Comprehensive Recovery Framework is being implemented, particularly to mitigate supply chain disruption, to establish safe and secure travel corridor, etc. 
in time of hardship and challenges. It is therefore even more important that the spirit of ASEAN community and the sense of belonging in the ASEAN community are well mainstreamed into our collective response, nationally and regionally. People in our region should feel that they are souls and cells of the ASEAN community. In this connection, I'm happy to announce that in line with the decision by our ASEAN leaders to encourage the enhanced display of the ASEAN flag in public buildings of ASEAN member states, from today, 8th August 2021 onward, Vietnam displays permanently the ASEAN flag alongside our national flag at the governmental buildings. Firstly, at the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. We believe that ASEAN's flying flag will help signify greater ASEAN friendship, solidarity, forging the growing social and cultural bonds among our people, raising greater ASEAN awareness, inspiring the we feeling, and promoting a sense of belonging to the ASEAN community. Excellencies, brothers and sisters, we share the understanding that we are all have a stake in the, de the development of the region, given the diversity of our economies and development levels. It is therefore vital for us all to work hand in hand to overcome difficulties and challenges, build a cohesive, resilient community for peace and prosperity. A happy ASEAN Day to us all, and I wish the ASEAN Family Day a great success. Thank you very much.